Ringmaster and let him tell you some more about it. Chris Connors been on the air with us for years here. WLNG been with the uh, Cold Brothers Circus a long time. Chris, welcome back. Well, good morning, Rusty. It's good to see you, my dear friend. I want to thank you very much. And the same can be said about me seeing you. We're very happy to see you down here today. Usually we have Dana with us, so Dana couldn't yeah. make it today, but we got uh, Conrad Michaels with us. You know, it's nice to meet him, and uh, yeah, I'm always used to Dana and yourself as well. And uh, it's great to be back here in beautiful Southampton and the Cole Brothers Circus. We have a beautiful brand new big top, as you see. Uh, it's up in the air right now, going up. And uh, we have a great show, all new this year. In fact, probably one of the biggest... Uh, delights to the Cole Brothers Circus is our magnificent, beautiful tiger display. We have 12 Siberian and Royal Bengal Tigers in the wow. big show. A dozen uh, of them, wow. Yeah, a dozen of them, that's right. And uh, they're beautiful cats uh, presented by a wonderful couple originally from Germany, Jürgen and Judith, one of the premier tiger presentations in the circus business today and one of the largest mix of uh, uh, big cats and any big top circus traveling right now. Oh, it's going to be great to see those cats down here today. Do you have elephants as well? Oh, yes. We have three big, beautiful, bouncing uh, circus elephants, uh, female Asian elephants, and uh, we also have poodles, uh, cartoon poodles. They like to drive in a little, little car around the big circus ring. We have an unusual mixture uh, of a llama, a camel, a draft horse, two miniature horses, two poodles, all together working, uh, presented by a young lady named Miss Laura Harriet. Uh, so that's all new animals, a lot of animals, a lot of uh, clowns, a lot of pretty girls, all kinds of stuff. I know we don't have too much time, and I can tell you more a little later. All right, we'll check back with you, Chris, in a little while. Once again, welcome back to the Pow Wow Grounds here at Chittagong. We have a fantastic show this year. Really a great show. Uh, the ringmaster is awesome. I don't know who he is. But anyway, we have... Some uh, guy named Connors. Yeah, some guy named Connors. But they say he's pretty good. Oh, well, you know, I've been here 10 years, and I've seen all kinds of stuff happen here at the Cole Brothers Circus, and uh, this is one of our uh, strongest uh, shows that we put on in a long time. Last year was a good show. This show is even better. Uh, we have a lot new animal people, a lot new animals. We have a fantastic, I was telling you earlier about the beautiful tiger act we have. It's one of the best cat acts in the business today. Uh, the owner of the show and the vice president, Mr. Pugh and Mr. Bale, and myself and a couple others seen this, uh, this couple perform with these tigers a few years ago, and we decided back then that we would love to have them. Tigers, we have elephants, three big beautiful girls. Uh, we have the cartoon poodles, as I was talking about. And we also have the flying trapeze of uh, the flying Ponce family with uh, the debut of the youngest son, who is only 10 years of age, young David. Only 10? Only 10, and you know, he is the youngest performer right now in the circus business, and we're still looking into the history of the circus. He does a passing leap uh, with his sister. So right now he is one of the youngest flyers to, to do this in our books. Uh, but anyway, uh, so that's incredible. We have uh, motorcycles in the globe. Um, the uh, Aguilar family has been with us for a couple years now with young Wendy and her brother and her father. And the, and the people love it. Uh, the globe splits in half. A lot of excitement with the motorcycles. Uh, earlier in the show, Eric uh, performs hand balancing on chairs. At the same time, the incredible Lana performs uh, doing the one finger stand on a ball. So it's a neat display. You have how, two things how, how going on. How can she do that? Uh, it's not easy. It, uh, and you know, for her, there hasn't been, and I think I've discussed this before, um, in the past, uh, last year was the first time she started balancing on one finger. She's the only woman in circus history to accomplish this feat. It's very uh, difficult for a, a lady. I don't want to get no complaints from the women out there, but a woman's uh, muscles in her hand and her arms are a little different than a man's. And uh, But this young lady's been performing as a contortionist, as a hand balancer, ever since she was a little girl in, uh, uh, over in uh, Ukraine. So this is uh, her training. Uh, going to the circus school in Moscow, so she, her body is very well.
developed and muscular that she could do this. It's incredible. I was getting a little concerned there for a moment when you started there, but... Uh... Well, I stopped. Anyway, <laughs> and of course we have the world's largest cannon, the signature of the Cole Brothers Circus for many years, Captain Kayon. Uh, again, shout out the cannon. All kinds of stuff. Pretty girls in the air. We have a, a young lady that does something uh, uh, very different in the American circus. Uh, she performs on a, it's like a, uh, it looks like a fishing net. And she performs like uh, in the air. And then there, we have two others. We have a young man that performs on straps. It looks like just ropes and does incredible stuff in the air. And, and then we have the uh, Svetlana who performs on the silk chevrons. And this is all going on in the big ring, and then on the round the side, we have all the pretty girls on what we call the lira, which is like a circular trapeze. So there's about 12 things going on in the air. Uh, really a nice production. All pirates in the air this year, pirate costumes, and a lot of clowns. We have two American clowns with us, with, uh, with our brothers who've been here for a while. Uh, the clown car uh, is a police car and it blows up and the people love it and the, the bad guys escape and the, <laughs> the people really, there's a lot of stuff going on with that clown car, uh, but it's a great show. You can, you can actually get a camel ride over here? Yes, a camel ride and pony rides and we also have uh, new this year, uh, photos with the poodles and you can, you can actually sit in their little pink car and uh, have a picture of the dogs. How do you like that? So there's all kinds of stuff that goes on here at the Oodles circus. of poodles. Oodles of poodles, yes. All right, well, it's going to be a great show. Tom just uh, came uh, back in the boat. We ought to get him out of here again. Now, Tom, I, I haven't had a chance to uh, chat with you that much. Uh, this is the first time uh, you and I have met, but I guess you've been with the uh, Cole Brothers Circus for quite a while now, right? I've been here. This is my first full year, but I, I've, I've worked as a marketing di di director before now. So. Now, how do you like it so far? I love it. I love the people. Meet, go, go into the different towns. You meet all the different people. The, it, it's fun. I, I have a real, real good time. Now, what are some of the places that the circus has taken you to in the past year? Well, the past year, when I when I started last year, I did West Palm Beach, Boca Raton, Lauderdale, Florida. This year so far, my first town, I was in... Uh, Greenville, North Carolina, Goldsboro, North Carolina, Annapolis, Leonardtown, Maryland, Lanceboro, Massachusetts, and here I am in the great state of New York. All right, good to have you here, Tom. Tom New Ernesto. York. We're here. We're rocking and rolling. I see the tent's almost up. Everything's getting in place. Come on out. Ticket office he opens up at 10 o'clock. Let's go. Here we are. Tom what did I miss, Chris? Did I miss we you? already talked about that. You already talked about that. Well, let's talk about it again. We see we got cars pull, pulling up as we speak right outside the that's truck it. here. All right, that's Tom Ernesto. He's the marketing director for the Cold Brother Circus. Rusty Potts here with Conrad Michaels. And we'll be back in a few more minutes. <laughs> How you doing, Elvin? I'm doing fine, thank you. Uh, it's great to see you guys again. We see you every year, uh, and this year we have a brand new show, lots of uh, new acts, and it's a great show to, to come and see today. We've got the great weather, and I'm excited to be here. I see you have a new tent, too. Brand new tent. Uh, we've got the elephants, the tiger. We've got the largest tiger act in the country here, the 12 tigers. It's great. you got to come down and see it. Yes, once again, it's a great show, a lot of new acts, thrilling acts. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure every year you uh, you switch it up a little bit and make it even more interesting than it is. Yeah, we still have the traditional cannon, which everybody loves to see, and we've got those three guys in the in the globe of death that opens up. Uh, we get that because it's such a popular act. People love that. But like I said, tigers are new, elephants are new. We've got new mixed animal acts. We've got all kinds of new acts. Yes, it's, it's really great. We have flying trapeze. We have we have clowns. We have really great clowns this year. With so we have everything. It's great. Uh, you're all sort of going uh, today. Uh, it moves in and out pretty quickly. Two days, you get two shows a day, and then you're off to the next town, and you're, you're already set up and uh, ready to go for the next one. That's correct. The, uh, the thing is here, we have a fabulous crew. They've been doing this for many years. They were able to come in and set up in five, five and a half hours, and then we were able to tear it down in like three, three and a half hours, and, and move to the next 
spot to set up again, but uh, we don't always do two or three days dance. We just came uh, from Facial um, when we were there all week. We were there all week. But uh, we love to come here, so we were only able to come here for two days because of our schedule. But in these two days, you've got to get out here and see the show. Absolutely. If uh, everyone's uh, you know, out here during this time, this is the time to come and see the circuit. So, and, uh, you know, uh, right here in the two spots of uh, most recently uh, convenient to everyone on the East End, uh, Southampton and in Greenport. So. Yeah, and you know what's great about it? Yeah, we get a lot of movie stars to show up here for the circus because they love the circus. Of course, they, they, uh, they probably have uh, childhood as, you know, uh, dreams of uh, having money to be at the circus and uh, they're not to see them at all. That's correct. And you know what? There's plenty of parking. It's free. It's not like you go to the city where you've got to pay 20 or 40 dollars to park right here. They park right next to the circus. You're right in your own backyard. Now's the opportunity to come and see a real life circus. Go from the ground up in your own backyard, free parking right in front of the circus. That's great. It's a true circus. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for talking to us today. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. All right, Rusty. Of the clown. Would you rather be called KM or Jose? KM. KM, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Good morning, say How are you doing this morning? Good, good, good to see you. I can't believe I see a picture of you being shot out of a cannon. Are you scared when that happens? Well, well not really. A little bit, you know, it's, we always really concentrated before we do the shot. For and, the and, and your buddy is over here and he said that uh, you've been fired from your job. Uh, 2,000 times. Uh-oh. That's what he's Get shot out of the cannon. And, and how far do you travel when you get shot out of the cannon? Uh, 75 feet. 75 feet, boy. Yes. Uh-huh. And then you land in the net. Yes, we land in the, in the front. We put the cannon in the back of the circus and we fly into the front of the net, yes. Boy, I bet it really shocks everybody when they see you get shot out of that. I bet they're, they're more nervous than you are. Well, of course. <laughs> well, I, I like to do that, you know. It's fun to fly in the air, to see everybody under the sea. It's great. Great. Now, how does it feel when you first climb in? Is it really tight and everything? Well, yes, we have to be ready and tie my whole body, you know, and wait for the countdown, five, four, three, two, one, the books. How do they get you in there? Well, I don't know. <laughs> very carefully. Yes. <laughs> very carefully, yeah. Yes, yes. Boy, that is really something. And you're also KM the Clown. Oh, yes, yes. And you have a lot of clowns at the circus, right? right? I got my brother and my cousin here, too, and we are three generations of my family in the circus, so we were in South America for many years, and we'll be here for 14 years in America. We were for the Cold Brothers Circus for 14 years. And, and what part of South America are you from? Ecuador. Ecuador? Yes. Now, how did you get started with the circus? Well, I for my dad and my grandpa. Mm -hmm. They've been in circus for many years. My dad, he'd be a clown for 45 years, so I follow my generation. Oh, God bless you. That's Thank wonderful. You. So it's always been in the family. Oh, yes, yes, yes. That's great. Now, is it going to be a good circus this year? Oh, of course. We have a great show. We have an elephant, tigers, carnivores, clowns. Flying trapeze, everything you can see under the big tag. And we have a lot of uh, uh, Hispanic listeners to WLNG. Maybe uh, in Spanish you could tell us a little bit about the uh, circus, what people can expect. Claro que sí, invitamos a todas las personas que puedan venir a vernos aquí en San Janto. Tenemos los shows a las 5 de la tarde y 8 de la noche. Para que vean elefantes, tigres, camellos, caballos, todo lo que puede ver bajo la carpa del circo. I think he just told me where to get off, but I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> hey, KM, nice to meet you, and uh, have fun with the circus. Oh, thank you for being here, sir. Thank One you so much. One of my favorites of all the clowns, I always like the clowns the best of everything in the circus, and we always like to get Paralito on here with us every year. Paralito, welcome back. Hey, how are you? <laughs> well, welcome back to uh, uh, San Janto de El Corbro Circus. Hoy, hoy, hoy. Hoy, 5 de la tarde, al circo a reír, al circo a gozar, al circo a divertirse. Programa extraordinario, el mejor show de América. Hoy, 8, 8 en punto, 5 de la tarde. El circo se queda dos días nada más. Mañana, último día. Mañana, último día. El circo se va a Greenport. Mañana, mañana, único dos días del circo. All right. 5 y 8. All right, boy, I, I love this guy on the air. I don't know what he said, but I like it. It, it sounds good. Though I do understand a little bit of Spanish, but you always sound great. You're always so happy, I mean, probably because you're around the children all the time and they love you at the circus, right? Yeah, yes, el circo. A reír, a gozar con los payasos, el payaso perolito. Los invita y los espera de la República de Colombia. 
Todos, todos al circo, al circo. Niños traigan a sus padres, padres traigan a sus niños al circo. Fantástico, todos al circo. Elefantes, tigres, osos negros del Canadá, camellos, caballitos, ponis, perritos de la India. Vamos todos al circo, trapecistas, morosaico. El circo los invita, el circo los espera. El mejor show de América. Just like his brother Kayam, I think he told me where to get off. Very good. Hey, that's great. Hey, we look forward to, to your uh, performance later on. Yes, the 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 circus is the trapeze, cunning, motorcycle, the 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 the, the clowns. Right, and yes. how how many of you clowns are there? Six clowns. Six clowns. Yes, six clowns. Right, so you'll laugh six times as hard, folks. That's great. Yeah, yes. Well, Paralito, thanks for going on the radio with us again this year. It's always a lot of fun to have you with us. Yeah. Gracias. <laughs> All Me right. Radio. There he is. That's Paralito. Okay. We have uh, Bill Dundee on the line already. Is that true? Yes, it is. That's true. That's true, Rusty. How are you, sir? Good, Bill. Good to hear you. Good to hear your voice over there. We miss seeing you down here this year. Well, I'm having many work. Um, actually, right book, there's a couple of things happen. Is this but going? Back to the next year. Oh, what what happened with your knees? Uh, is this going back to a wrestling injury or what? Yeah, I just wore out after 30, 40 years of wrestling. Well, it finally caught up a little bit, I guess. Well, get yeah. get get yourself all healed up. Now we got to, we got to Tom Renesto over here, and he wanted to say hi to you. Hey, Bill, how you doing, buddy? Hey, Tom, how you doing, brother? Do you, they're, they're nice people up there at the Shinnecock Indian Nation, and Rusty Potts is a hell of a guy, so you be nice to Rusty, okay? Hey, they're great folks here at WLGN for N sure. WLNG, I'm lost here. I've talked so much today. Oh, hope to see you all next year, okay? Hey. You got it, Bill. Take care. That's, all right, brother. Okay. Take care, my man. Thank you very much. Right. Bill okay. Dundee, I think he's down in, uh, in Tennessee right now. But it's, uh,